fuck this? And so here we are. We are online. Uh, the thing is, I've come, uh, uh, come online with uh, my Xbox 360 character. Um, as you can probably tell, I'm still kind of wearing the stuff that I had to buy. Um, but when you do the first few missions, um, here's my slightly beat up guy. <laughs> I kind of had a bit of an incident before I started recording and got chased by cops and stuff, so uh, yeah, uh, my car's a bit of a mess. But here we are at the place where they sell the masks. So let's go and uh, browse through the masks. There should be a new one. Um, these are all the hockey masks. Uh, I think I would probably be quicker going to there. No, there should be one available. What was it called? It was um, an eagle mask, I think. So it's probably it's one of the animal. Uh, well, black vulture. Never noticed that one before. Uh, pink vulture. Ew. Ah, there it is. There's one of them. The White Majestic Eagle. Twenty-four thousand dollars. Damn. Uh, oh, the brown eagle. A brown ball. Don't think I've seen that one before. Uh, a black ball. A golden bison. Oh, a golden bison! <laughs> uh, as you can probably see on the bottom there, it says part of the Independence Day special. Oh, right, so. Ah, the wolf. So, we got the black wolf, the grey wolf, the black vulture, pink vulture, white eagle. Brown eagle, uh, brown ball, a black ball, golden bison, a uh, brown bison, a grey bear, a uh, brown bear, oh, and the, the black raccoon, that's part of the on heap stuff. But, so there we go, they got quite a few masks. Brown, grey, brown, bison, gold bison, black ball, blah 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 blah. So, uh, apparently some of these items, I mean, I'm not sure about the masks. Who the hell would have that thing? Oh my god. What the? <laughs> no way. I don't think so somehow. Um, <laughs> damn. And, should we zoom in? Oh my god, no. So, yeah. I think everybody's pretty much going to have that, really, the white eagle. Don't ask me why, I don't think many people have the brown eagle. And it's not, it, I'm not going to say it's going to be, it's a race thing, but yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. But you've got the white eagle and the brown eagle on the ball and blah, 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 blah. So, okay. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with the mask because I don't do that, basically. I don't, I don't bother with the masks. So. Uh, let's just check the yeah, radios off. Uh, what we shall do now is go visit... Oh, right, yeah, there was the barbershop thing. Because apparently there's a, a mullet available. Excuse me. Coming through. Nah, nah. Coming through. Move it or lose it. So yeah, there's well, here we are at the barbers. Well, hello, honey. Can I sit down? Thank you. Right then, uh, hairstyles. Uh, ah, this is what, what you got there. Mullet black, mullet blonde. Mullet all brown, light brown, dark brown, and uh, the hipster stuff on the So there we go. Oh, those are just the ones. For some reason, I think that uh, Rockstar seem to think 
Americans, and especially ones who celebrate Independence Day, are mullet-wearing hicks or... <laughs> oh, whatever. So, uh, yeah. That's uh, the choice you have there. Uh, to be honest, there's still a lot of like, unlocked stuff because... I mean, at the moment, I'm only rank 13 or something like that, so... Uh, beards, brrrr. Was there any beards? Uh, trimmed beard, blah 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 blah. This item was just beard or not. Part of the old not a hipster. Uh, I don't think there were any beards. No. It was just the hair, the hairdo, haircut, whatever you want to call it. Um, same with uh, the face paints. That are non. Well, you've got that, but that wasn't technically released with the update, like with the Independence Day update. So, anyway. Thank you, ma'am. Um, I don't think there are any like clothes updates. Or at least not a lot anyway. It was mainly the vehicle and uh, it was mainly the vehicle and the hair style updates mainly. So we can now have a look at this uh, Binko. But I'm not sure if there will be anything like new. Because, I mean, we've only really just had the uh, the hipster update, so there's no, I don't think there's going to be anything well, anything at all, if anything. <laughs> uh, where are we going to go? Right, tops, uh, silk jackets. T-shirt, maybe. Oh, there we go. You got a, an American flag T-shirt that was unlocked. Um, I think that might be the only thing. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, hey, can I take this jacket off? Uh. So you got a freedom shirt there. A worn flag, which is kind of what you would call the distressed style um, thing. Fourth uh, of July, since 1776, Eagle Pride. Uh, a Love America t shirt. A Heart America t shirt, which is pretty much the same, just different design on the heart. Uh, a torch t shirt. Fourth of July. So, made in the USA. Uh, made in the USA. Oh, a large. Oh, that's basically just a large version of that. Um, stripy tux, for some reason. A smiley flag. Map of America shirt. Uh, what bold USA. USA t shirt. Um, Bath's Independence. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, that was that. So that's that. Thing. Oh, so there's quite a few T-shirts there that are that are included. Uh, hoodies. No, I think, that, I think that was just unlocked in. Uh, and something. Oh, what was that then? Something else or not? No, just another red tank. I think so. Why is this going so quick? Stop! Stop! God damn it! Uh, no, nothing there. Palo shirts. What, what, what was that then? Uh, oh, exclusive. Part of the other hipster. Blah, 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 blah. 
No, nothing there. Oh, vests. Oh, wait, I saw the stuff there. Uh, ah! Now then. Star flag vest. American flag vest. Right. A vertical. Uh, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah, I thought I saw the stuff there. Business shirts. Uh, you must be wearing suitable jacket. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, well. Suit vests. Okay. Hold up, wait a minute. Those are the. Those are pretty much the ones I was just wearing. It's just that you get. You get a shirt with it as well. Vest shirts. Uh, those are what you wear underneath the vest, obviously. Obviously! Special tops, no items. So, what is it there then? Uh, ooh, look at that! Uh, ooh, fancy! And a blue one. Ooh! The thing is, I think more people would be willing to buy this stuff if it was a bit more affordable. I mean, come on, this is Binko as well. Crying out loud, you know what I mean? So, uh, anything there now? Track jackets? Yes? No? Maybe? No? So, I think that's it. Pretty much. Uh, let's see what they've got in the form of pants. Or as we British call them. Trousers! Oh, there's... oh, no. The thing is that some new stuff has unlocked because I've, like, unlocked stuff as I've been levelling leveling up. Uh, shorts... Classic men, blah 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 blah, okay. Well, whatever. Oh, I've just unlocked the purple cargo pants there. So. Sports pants? Yes? No? Maybe? No, can't see any there. Suit pants? No? No, I'm not a hipster. What's that? Owned but not equipped? No. Uh, shorts. We wear short shirts. Chinos. Oh, chino. Well, there doesn't appear to be any pants. Uh, tops, they're going to be basically the same anyway. Um, let's have a look over here at the shoes. Boots. Any boots? These boots are made for walking. No. I don't think there's any snakes because if there was, then. Whatever. Uh, part of the arm, not a hipster. No. Flip flops. No. Belt shoes. I appear to have unlocked a lot of red stuff. Uh, <laughs> In the level update. <laughs> so just, you know, red clothes, red shoes. Uh, no, nothing there. Smart shoes, business update, I'm not a hipster update. Uh, no. So, no. No shoes. Or at least not in uh, Binko, anyway. Uh, tops are going to be the same. Tops, tops, so yeah, it doesn't matter where you sort of look, they're all pretty much the same. It's all up the same menu and other hood stuff. Um, I think where I'll try next is z -z 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 -z. not the suburban. Where's the nearest Ponsonby? That's up here. Let's go check out the Ponsabies, because they tend to have some slightly different clothing to 
to be rest. Oh, dude, there's an elder arrow if I got stuck there. Oh my god. How did I manage that then? <laughs> I got stuck between the lamppost and the hard place. Alright, let's uh Let us head on over to Ponsonby's. Oh yes. Very high class, you know. Uh, <laughs> yep, that's why my car is always wrecked. But here's a bit of a pro tip to getting your car repaired. Enter a race. When you leave the race, your car will be all nice and clean and repaired again. I mean, obviously, if you're like, online at the time, then... Uh, now those are going to be pretty much the same, aren't they? You can respawn elsewhere by choosing Kill Yourself. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, I think. <laughs> uh, Oh, hold on a minute, let's... No, not pants. Suits. Suits. Suits you, sir. No, that's not going to work either, is it? So, that's not going to work either, so I think that's pretty much it. Tops. Yeah, tops are going to be the same. And um, that's it. Sorry about that. Uh, and there we go. Right, so, um, that's it. That's pretty much the content. Uh, oh, yeah, what I will do is, let's go on to here. Check the property listings, because there are some new uh, properties that are, have only been made available in the new Independence Day update, which this is one of them. Uh, four Hangman Dr Avenue, a six car garage. Uh, there's that one there. Four four hundred one Proca Plow Drive. That's a six car garage. Uh, another six car garage there in Blank County. Another six car garage. A two car garage there. Um. A couple of two car gauges. Uh, those are not new, they're the old ones. So you've got a few new garages if you need to, uh, if you've got some spare cash and you need <laughs> another six car garage, which really, if, you, if you're a bit of a collector, you're not going to have a six car garage, are you really? Um, Oh, okay, so it doesn't there doesn't appear to be any new um any new properties as in well I mean the update apparently says that there are new apartments. Uh I can't see these apartments. Because all I've found are garages. So yeah, that's that's not very good, is it? I mean, like I say, you got that there, which is just uh, these are just garages or garages, as some people call them. I don't know, I'll just, garages. Just the way I just the way I talk in it. So anyway, that one seems to be kind of out of the way a bit there. So let's. Uh, Let's go visit that one. I mean, I know it's kind of night time, but you know what I mean. Well, uh, you'll kind of get the gist of it. So, yeah. Let's, like, go check it out, man. Uh, 
And for any of you that watch Vanos, now I'm not going to be taking any shortcuts. <laughs> if you've watched any of his recent videos. Or, um, yeah, uh, Louis. Louis Calibre. Louis Calibre! Or Calibre, if you just want to be uh, basic about it. So this is it. Oh, wouldn't you be buying the the place as well? I mean, you've got two doors there. This is like a house, a home, you know. Wouldn't you be buying... Wouldn't you be buying the, uh, the whole thing? I mean, it doesn't say... I know it's got on the map there that it's uh, that it's a property and what's that there? That is just a gallery. I mean, they all like just appear as houses. So. Um, Part of the Independence Day special. Crazy movie director across the road. Check. Astronomer Cleopatra's property where your car has more square footage than you do. Check. If you're looking for a... Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, it is a home. Okay. Includes a six-car... Six-car garage. Right, okay. So that is the property. Ah. Oh. See, because... You're kind of used to seeing this, where it says apartment number and blah blah blah. You're not quite used to seeing uh, just an address with, you know, the six car uh, thing. So, and these are quite affordable as well. I mean, if you're not looking for a big place, and basically somewhere kind of out in the middle of the sticks. I mean, look at this, you know, all these places up here. Where, I mean, that's just, you know, you've got a couple of uh, garage properties there. You've got, oh, wow. So actually you can move right out of the way. Instead of how everybody usually buys a property all stuck in the middle of the city centre, as you may call it, whatever, then now apparently you can buy a dive like this <laughs> Zancudo Avenue. Uh, beggars can be choosers, waterfront living at a bargain price, steps away. From both a Chinese restaurant and a tattoo parlour, this Sandy Shores location offers no shortage of late night decisions. Your regret in the morning includes a two <laughs> includes a two door garage. Uh, should we get to? <laughs> should we have a look at that one? It's going to be a bit of a drive, so uh, if you'll bear with me and listen to my rambling. But yeah, as I say, I'm playing this one on. The Xbox 360. The bit before this that I recorded was on the uh, PlayStation 3 because I've completed the whole story there. I've bought the properties and whatever. So the reason that I went on there to uh, to see if I could mod the vehicles was because with Franklin I bought the Lost Santos Customs, which it's usually free. To uh, to customize, repair, respray, and everything. Um, I've only had the Xbox 360 version for a little while, probably about a week now. Um, and the reason for buying it mainly was because I, I know other people, such as other YouTubers, and that they play 
the 360 version. Hopefully, I mean, one of these days I may get to play with them. Hopefully, I would like to, because especially somebody like Louis, who he plays the game to do missions, make money and stuff like that. And that's the way that I want to play the game. If you know what I mean? I don't want to do all this uh, just like random online stuff where it's just like people killing you all the time and nobody really cares about doing races and stuff like that. You know, I, I want to do basically what Louis and uh, his crew and that do. Is to go on and do races and jobs and oh, I know Louis doesn't really do a lot of races, but I, I like doing, I actually doing things. If you know what I mean, I, what's the point in like going online, just riding around in your car, shooting people, blowing things up for no reason? You know what I mean? It, it, to me, that's not fun or entertainment. That's just doing stupid crap out of boredom. You know what I mean? There are better things to do than that. And so, uh, yeah, that's why what I would like to do is to join people, to do jobs. Basically to get RP, level up, get some money, you know, be able to buy things and that. Because, you know, if you're going to be one of these idiots that just run around rampaging and shooting people and stuff, you know, you're going to need money. What do you do for money? You know, do you actually do, you know, any jobs or, uh, or, or anything, you know, to earn money to pay for your weapons and bullets and vehicles and whatever? So... Oh my god, it's right next to Trevor. <laughs> you too could live next door to Trevor in this spacious property. Oh man, seriously. Yeah, I mean, Trevor is like literally down there. You can see the T on the map there. Trevor lives... You can, there, there's his trailer right there beyond post. Here is a property... You could be living right next, well, not right next to him, kind of next to him. Just look at this immaculate property here. There's a bit of work needs doing, but you know, it's one of those doer uppers. <laughs> it comes with a free boat. <laughs> <coughs> You know what I mean? As stupid as I'm like making fun of this. It's a basic property. If you, if you don't bother with a lot of vehicles, some people don't, then, uh, yeah. You could... Uh, you too could own a property like this. And be right next to Trevor. So, yeah, that's it. That, I'm going to leave it there this time. Um... I'm not going to buy this property, by the way. I'm just going to leave the leave it there while I just talk a little bit. Um, so, anybody who would like to do jobs uh, to like earn RP and money and and to basically play the game in a in a more sensible way than just run around shooting crap. Um, as you can see, there, my name is Mental Iceman. Um, I'm only level 14 at the moment, uh, so if anybody would like to join in with doing jobs and races and things like that, then look for me online. I might, if I'm online and I'm doing like solo session stuff, either just like, send a friend request or invite me to a session. You know what I mean? Um, I might have to look at look out. I might have to search for uh, my headset if I'm if I do fancy feel like talking while online. Uh, I mean, you might have to excuse me. I'm a little bit shy when it comes to actually talking to other people, sort of thing. You know, talking to randomers and things like. That. Um, 
but yeah, you know, once we get talking, so I may, I'll, I say open up, I may look, you know, be a lot more relaxed, things like that. But anyway, so yeah, send a friend request, whatever. Uh, I would love to join in with this thing, uh, with, uh, with jobs and races. Um, I don't really, I, I mean, I, it's like I said, I, I would love to play this a bit more, I think, than with the PS3 version, but with the PS3 version, my character has got lots of money, and if I do do if I do get the Xbox One version, then I would most likely transfer that character to the Xbox One. If you know what I mean, my PS3 character to my Xbox One version. So, yeah, and I mean, it's as I mentioned in other videos, the reason I would get the Xbox One version is because I think more people would play that. Uh, more people that are now on Twitter than and just generally everybody else. So anyway, yeah, I'm waffling on. Thanks for watching. Uh, please join me next time uh, for any more GTA online vids or uh, whatever. And uh, see you next time.